In this video, we'll be looking at how we can return items from a customer and replace them using a sales return order. To begin, I'll look for my sales return orders and create a new one. I'll use our customer 10,000. I'll make sure that our external document number has a value. Just to make sure that any documents created from this sales return order will also have this external document number attached. Moving down to the lines, I can either enter my item manually, filling in my return reason code, or I can go to process, get posted documents to return, and select a line from here. In this case, we'll say that our customer has ordered the wrong color, so we've entered our return reason code of wrong with our full quantity. From here, we can enter our correct item and enter a value of minus two. We can also add an item charge if we want to and process this as normal. In this case, we'll just leave it at this. Now that we've entered the correct item that our customer wanted to purchase, we can go to actions, functions, and move negative lines. And from here, create an order or an invoice. This has taken our second item line and created it into a sales order where we're ready to post and ship. Here we can ship invoice or ship an invoice. And we can return to our sales return order and also post this.